Well, so look, so obviously, yeah, we, we, when we get them, obviously we try to find what is the best way to help them uh, get back. And, and honestly, we sit down and, and with DiJack, and again, it's something that uh, we're very, I, we're very good about what is it that, you know, you might be interested in. Everything that happens down here, the talent, nine times out of 10 really has a say in it. Um, and especially with uh, someone like DiJack, he's got a lot of experience. He understands what he wants to do. He's actually, uh, I, I, if I recall, he's a criminal justice major. And so... <laughs> Again, it was just kind of ironic, you know, and and so it's it's just what is it, what if you were to be able to have a little say in what it is you were going to do, how would you present yourself? How would you see yourself? Um, and look, this is this is uh, what you know what it what it resulted in is, is the, the character that you have now. And again, I think he has been thriving. I don't think anybody would doubt his ability. Um, because he's an unbelievably talented dude, especially and I always I always hate to say, especially for his size, but it's hard not to, you know, it's hard not to, yeah. to say that. It's just amazing some of the stuff he can do uh, at his size. Um, but again, we've also, I think, put him in really good situations and he has thrived in every one of them. I don't think anybody would argue that he and Wesley were, was just a fantastic match at stand and deliver. And now in a totally different element, a totally different kind of opponent, he's going to go out there with Ilya Dragunov. And again, he, I think he has every opportunity, again, to show anyone, and that would be, you know, main roster eyes included, that you can put him with anybody and he's going to be a guy that can deliver. And that's what we do. We just, we, we try to get people back we do our best to sort of repackage them in a way that uh that maybe they didn't have as much say or influence in before we try to be open to that obviously um not everything can, can be done the way talent wants it to be done um but at the same time do our best to put them in opportunities that are going to help them thrive especially when there is again you know so much talent there um and and, and i don't think i i, don't, I am never Quite honestly, I'm never in that much of a disagreement with, I think, you, the, you know, you, the fan base, and even the town. Sometimes they don't feel like they were given the best opportunity. And a lot of times, look, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity at the moment, but if it isn't done correctly or something, one thing can miss. And it's hard, it's very tough to dig yourself out of that hole sometimes. You know what I mean? And we're always sympathetic of that. And and look, it's a chance to go back and try to rebuild and give them another shot. And I'm I, I'm pretty proud of some of the you know some of the results that we've had here in NXT, whether it's Finn Balor, whether it's Apollo, and and of course I, I don't think it's going to be long before Dijak uh, is back as well. So, uh, but I think you know along with you, everybody knows that he and Ilya is going to be. You know what I mean? That is going. I don't even know that it's a sleeper, but it is one that's going to again, be very, very intense to say the least.